Hi folks, Jason Webster here, lead commercial agronomist with Precision Planning. Hey, today we're at the Pontiac, Illinois PTI farm, and I want to show you uh, some of the equipment we're using during our soybean harvest at the farm here. Now you can see my combine in the back, we're running a case IH 8250. And on this 8250, we've got a Gearinghoff True Flex Razor Air 40 foot draper. And I wanted to show you some of the testing that we're doing in the field. The 2024 soybean harvest was pretty incredible in the fact that we were super dry all harvest. Matter of fact, we had very little, little rainfall events at all during the soybean harvest season. What that meant was we had some really dry soybeans. Usually we can wait for a little bit of a rain. We like to harvest soybeans at or near 13% moisture. But what happened this year was due to the lack of rainfall and low humidity, we had a lot of soybeans that got down to 8 and 9% moisture. That poses some challenges when it comes to harvest. We teamed up with our friends at Gearinghoff. We brought this TrueFlex Razor Air draper head in. And one of the things I really like with this draper is, is the air component. As we're bringing in super dry 8% soybeans into this draper head, we're concerned about beans bouncing all over the place and having some harvest loss from this head. And so the air system on this head is designed to blow air from the cutter bar to the back of the head to continue to push those soybeans in on the belt to get as much grain possible into the combine. So let's show you what this system is all about and how we're using it here at the farm in our testing process. Okay, so here is a close-up look at Gearinghoff Draper platform here and you can see we've got our cutter bar we've got all of our sickle sections here that are going to cut the crop and then the soybeans the, the tines are going to come in and push these soybeans back once they're cut and lay it onto the belt the belt will then take the soybeans into the center of the draper where the combine will, will take it inside the feeder house now as we're cutting here and as we're raking these soybeans in that's where we can have some exposure to some beans coming out of the pods and kind of bouncing around and dancing all over. And so what we've got here with this air system on this Gearinghoff Draper is we've got a fan system that will blow air. I'll show you the, where, where the air is coming from here in a minute, but basically, ultimately, it's going to come up right behind the knives and it's going to blow air right straight out to push these beans away from the knives so that they don't fall in, on the ground, but they'll land on the belt and then the belt will take them to the combine. The goal here is last harvest loss, particularly in the situation we ran into this year with the super dry soybean, okay? So we really like the added benefit of this air pushing these soybeans back, trying to get every last bean into this draper head. Let's take a look at the air system and show you how this thing works. All right, to run the air system on this, um, this draper head, this, this integrated air system, it's run by a PTO shaft, okay? So um, to drive the combine, we've only got the PTO shaft on the left-hand side of the combine. Here on the right-hand side, this PTO shaft is going to run our integrated air system. So the shaft turns, spins the fan, blows the air into the head, and then we've got a series of tubes then that will go underneath the draper head and then come up behind the knives and push air this way. Again, taking those soybeans, in this case, you know, in 2024, those very dry soybeans, pushing them into the head to prevent that dancing, bouncing around and ultimately falling off the head onto the ground for harvest losses. But we've got these air tubes all the way down through the, the draper head, so we've got good air coming throughout the whole length of the draper head. Now, I wanted to show you this air system running while we were harvesting soybeans, but generally with the dust, you really can't see a whole lot. So I tried another, another approach here today. I was at a gender reveal party not too long ago. You guys ever been to one of them where 
Um, you get a couple that's having a child and they have this party to reveal the, the, the gender of the baby and they'll use blue dust and pink dust um, if it's a boy or a girl. And I got thinking about this and I said, hey, wait a minute, I can take that gender reveal dust, put it in the air system, and as I turn this head on, it will blow that dust and the air on the backside of the knives and you'll be able to see this air system working on the draper. It should be a pretty good example of how this system works. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put blue gender reveal dust in the air system, turn this head on, and you'll be able to see the air movement of how this integrated air system works on this Gearinghoff Draper. All right, so we had the opportunity to use this Gearinghoff TrueFlex Razor with the integrated air system at the PTI farm in Pontiac, Illinois this fall. What did we find? Well, one of the nice things with this head is that PTO shaft that I showed you earlier, we can simply take it off and I can run replications without the air. I can put the PTO shaft, turn the fan back on, and I can put head-to-head -head trials in air versus no air. Here's what we found in the fall of 2024. We saw a yield increase of 2.4 bushel on a per acre basis. Now, again, this was a dry fall. We had extended drought through July, August, September, and even October. We had very, we didn't have any rain days at all until really well into the latter part of October. We just ran straight through fall. The problem is no rainfall, very low humidity. It just sucked the moisture out of everything. And there was a lot of soybeans that were harvested, 8 9%. I think due to those dry conditions is a part of the reason we saw the 2.4 bushel yield increase with the air system. But nonetheless, 2.4 bushel yield increase, now it comes down to economics. If I'm going to buy a technology, I want to know up front, typically how long is it going to take for me to pay off this technology? And I want one year. If I'm going to buy a technology, I'd like for it to pay for itself in one year's time. Now, to figure out the economics, here's what I did. I, I, I took a look back over the last four years to get a good average soybean price. The soybean prices that we used over the last four years averaged $12.62 a bushel for soybeans. If I ran that four-year average with the 2.4 bushel yield increase, I'm coming in with a $30.29 return on a per acre basis, bringing in an extra $30 by using the integrated air system on this head. And so now it comes down to total cost, and we break it down, again, using that $30.29 additional revenue number, using list price of this air system, I'm looking at a break-even right at 660 acres. Now, if you're a soybean grower, the farm's less than 660 acres of soybeans. It's, it, you're not going to pay for this in one year. But I do think there's a lot of growers that do farm more than 660 acres of soybeans annually. And I do think this system could pay for itself, at least in the conditions we were in this fall. Again, dry soybeans. We want to run this again. We look forward to testing this again in 2025. And we want to get into different conditions. I want to get into some wetter soybeans. What if we run in normal 13 or 14 percent moistures like we like we like to? Okay, what what's the air system going to do for us in that type of environment? Those are the things we need to learn. However, in the first year of testing, an extra 30 dollars of gross revenue coming in from this machine looked pretty attractive, and it's a it was a, a tool in our toolbox this fall as we knew that we had dry conditions, dry soybeans, and we tried to combat it. We were able to turn the air system on and fight this and bring in another $30 an acre.